Hello YouTube, today we are doing a LED upgrade on our turn signals for the Suzuki Boulevard C50. This is similar to the M50 and the other um, Suzuki cruisers such as the Intruder, which was I think the previous model and then uh, C90 and things like that. I think they all use similar type of turn signals. So we have these incandescent turn signals. I already removed the left side. I'm gonna remove the right side lens and then we can get to the, um, the actual turn signal. But you can see that just uses a normal halogen type, incandescent type uh, light bulb. And we're using these Chinese uh, I think it's called a bay phone or something like that. It's it's a weird name, but these are cheap on Amazon. Um, they should work for the application. So that's what they look like. And um, I can leave a link if anyone's interested. But essentially, and forgive me doing this with one hand, um, you can see that these are fairly decent quality. Uh, they're not the best, but they work so they're amber and essentially they should work um, they have these um, I did a little matching online so they have these little knobs which should twist in and hopefully it should stay in the socket so we'll see how that works if we do a quick comparison on how these look uh, we can turn the uh contact on and you can see here if we turn the turn signal on you can see how they that's how they work now so we're gonna replace the right one and see what the difference is here they're kinda I think white in color or yellow so these are actually amber the ones we're replacing it with it says remove this lens very simple just get under the the bike and you want to have a Phillips screwdriver I just want to rotate this counterclockwise to uh, unscrew or left side here There you go, so you just have this little standard screw here. Drop that down, and then this should just twist out. There it is. And that's your, that's your lens housing. All kind of comes together. And use some gloves to remove this if you wanna reuse it so you don't leave you want to twist and pull so twist to the left and pull and you can see the um, original OEM bulb is uh, looks like it's a Stanley That's what that looks like, and it has that one contact, so that should match to what our LED is. So you just want to kind of put that in a clean spot here. There you go. And then let's try this one and see if that works. So the opposite should work. Insert these and then twist to the right, I believe. And that locks it in. All right, let's give it a contact, see if this works.
And as you can see, big difference. Huge difference in the way that um, these actually uh, light up much faster on the right versus the left. And um, of course the housing, once you insert that, that's going to give it a little bit of a diffusion. Um, I will change these because these are amber, so I'm going to have some smoke lenses that I ordered put in here. So, uh, But fairly easy job, and uh, again, I can link these. Seem to work pretty well. Hopefully they don't burn out on me. So. Now one other thing is you're going to get hyper flashing when you do normal turn signal operations. So as you can see here. So that's because uh, of course the uh, LED draws much less power. So what you need to do is either install a load resistor. What I prefer is just swapping out. Once you swap out everything to LEDs in terms of turn signals, you would want to actually install a uh, LED relay, which is a small little electronic uh, device, other side. So uh, I will have a second video on how to do that. So make sure you check that out.